moment um, where many of you have got a tube of meat um, I have got a pillar of glitter that's uh, detachable uh, and that's because they cut my leg off a couple of years ago and um, this is a poem about being in hospital this is called Edna Edna's in the next bed to me she's 73 and she looks like a threadbare tennis ball with eyes she hates scousers manx coffee tea swearing toddlers wisdom jumble sales my tattoos my hair my face me and above all nurses i love edna she's got balls i can imagine her in leather edna disappears a lot but well that's what we do here we disappear and we come back with bits missing or off our tits on morphine or well sometimes we don't but edna just comes back the same full of hatred and bile I follow her once and she's not going for tests or procedures. Her husband's in the same hospital. I peep in and they're sat facing each other. I eavesdrop, which is easy because she's shouting a minge off. It's the usual stuff, you know, Starbucks is shit, the internet is evil, the nurses are out to get her, and I wonder if she likes anything. And then she goes quiet and she shouts, I love you! <laughs> And then she starts crying. And then he holds her. Three things start happening as soon as you've had your leg cut off. One, everyone tells you that you could be a Paralympian. I mate, and you could be an Olympian. Two, you get called brave every five minutes for anything, just for eating a Twix or for going to the toilet, just for not falling over. And it's sort of patronising, like what's the alternative? I'm just continuing to live my life. It's sort of offensive, but well, I quite like compliments. So I think my position on the matter is, how dare you call me brave, but thanks for noticing I am rather, aren't I? The third thing is everyone asks if it hurts to have your leg cut off. I use all my powers of poetry and language to sum up the pain and it's this. You know when you stub your toe? Well, fuck off. On the 12th of March, the nurse says to me, your stump is a funny shape. Do you want to look at it? It's all right, mate. I've, uh, I've just had me tea. And then she leaves me alone with it. All right, mate. <laughs> what are we going to call you, eh? I can't be doing with their words. It's minging, isn't it? How about, how about John? <laughs> oh shit, now isn't that the elephant man's name? No offence, like. How about, um, how about Bert? You don't expect birds to be pretty. You know, birds wear a flat cap and call a spade a spade. Oh. Or call a stump a stump. Stump. It's an absurd word, it's an ugly word. As bodily words go, it's almost as fitting as vulva. Should we take a look at you then? Oh, hey, right. it is minging. You know the blonde one out of birds with a feather? Well, it looks like her miserable gob. Could I that away? That's what you do with like ugly things that people are going to judge you on. Or. Or could I invent stump puppetry? All right, mate. What do you think of it so far? She's a bit fucking weird, isn't she? <laughs> when things get weird, this is what I do. I think of things in my head 24-7 that I'm grateful for. Scousers. Manx. Tea. Coffee. Swearing. Toddlers. Wisdom. Jumble sales. My tattoos. My hair. My face. Me. And above all, nurses. <laughs>